Hi, my name is Candice, aka Picasso Baby, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own Christmas polar bear. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for stopping back by to paint with me today. So it's been a little while since we've painted together and that's because you are getting five tutorials this month. So today is the start of five days of Christmas and we are kicking it off with a fun painting for the kids. It can be for adults too, but I wanted to do something fun for the families this season. So we're starting our five days of Christmas off with a Christmas polar bear. As always, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so that you do not miss the next tutorial. So before we get started, I'm going to go over everything that I'm working with today. As always, I am using a 16 by 20 inch canvas. You can use the canvas size of your choice. It's completely up to you. You also want to make sure that you have some different sized acrylic brushes, a cup with cold water to wash your brushes, and a napkin or rag to dry them off on. And then you also want to make sure you got your paint. So I am working with acrylic paint and today I'm just using a few colors. I am using blue, white, I'm also using bright red and Mars black. And as always, everything is listed in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I am going to start out by sketching out my polar bear. Now, normally we do use a pencil or a Sharpie to sketch it out, and you still can if you want to, but this sketch is super simple, so I am actually just going to use my paintbrush. I'm using a medium round paintbrush for this step, but again, if you want to sketch it out in pencil or a permanent marker first, feel free to do so. I'm gonna sketch mine out with a little bit of blue, that way I can see it. Even though our polar bear is gonna be white, I'm gonna sketch it with blue. So I am just using a little bit of my phthalo blue. And the first thing I wanna draw is I wanna draw my polar bear's head. Now, if you want the head to be straight up, you can do it straight up. I want mine to be a little bit off to the side. So I'm gonna do a little bit of almost like, you can do a full circle or more of an oval. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to end up painting right over it. And then from there, I'm going to create the little legs. So on this side, I'm going to come from underneath the polar bear's head. And I'm going to do a little curve down. And you see I kind of make this. And you can make it a full circle if you need to see it. And then I'm going to pull this up. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And you can make it that circle if you need to see it. And now we are gonna add in the other little legs. So for my other little feet or my other little legs, I'm gonna make another little oval or circle here. And then I'm going to pull out his little leg from the back here. So we want it to look like he's sitting down. I'm going to do the same thing here. And then of course, once you have all of that, I'm going to go in and add my polar bear's little ears. Now, once you have all of that on there, you now have the shape of your polar bear and I am going to go in and add in my background. Now, while I'm still working with the blue, I want to divide the sky. So I want my sky to be a bit of a darker blue and I'm going to have my polar bear sitting in the snow, of course. So I'm going to come off to the side here and I'm just going to pull a line going right into the polar bear and then I'm going to pull another line off to the side and it doesn't have to be a straight line it can curve up or down it's completely up to you but once you have that I am going to switch to my bigger brush so I'm switching to this bigger flat brush and now I'm going to be picking up blue and a very very small amount of white so you see I have blue on this side a little bit of white on the corner there and I'm going to get everything above the line and around my polar bear filled in so I want this to stay pretty dark with just little hints of white. So when you're doing this part, make sure you don't pick up too much white. Thank you. 
All right, now once you have all of the top portion of your canvas filled in, so you have all of the sky filled in, now we're gonna move down to the snow. Now I'm not gonna wash my brush. This time I am just going to pick up only white. There should be enough blue in your brush that the um, blue will kind of come out and mix in with your white. So don't pick up any more of the blue. Just keep picking up white. And as you can see, I'm getting a lighter blue in my snow and that's completely fine. Now, if yours is coming out a little bit too blue, you can always wash your brush and pick up white and a very small amount of blue to get your, uh, your snow filled in. But you just wanna make sure that of course your snow is lighter or a little bit wider than your sky. So I'm just gonna get everything around the bottom of my polar bear filled in. Now, once you have the sky, you have the snow, I'm gonna do two more things before I take a quick break. I am going to take my smallest brush. So you wanna get one of your teeny tiny detail brushes and you can use the front end of the brush or the back end of the brush if your back end is round. But all you're gonna do is take a little bit of white paint and we wanna add some snowflakes in the background. So for the snowflakes, if you want actual flakes, you can definitely make some. I am just making little dots all around my background. And I'm just doing it in the sky. If you want some in your snow, it's completely up to you. They don't have to be the same size. You can make some bigger, you can make some smaller. All right, now once you feel like you have enough of the snow, I am gonna go ahead and get the first layer of my polar bear filled in. I wanna get my polar bear filled in with just white. And because we did outline in blue, you might pick up a little bit of the blue, but that's completely fine because we're gonna do a second layer. But I am gonna go back to my medium sized round brush. You can use the bigger brush if you're comfortable with it. And this time I'm not picking up any blue, just picking up white and I'm gonna get the entire polar bear filled in. So I'm even painting over those blue lines that we put that goes throughout the middle. You can paint right over those. We'll bring those lines back out. So if you lose them, that is completely fine. But you just wanna get your entire polar bear filled in. All right, now once you have everything filled in, so you have your sky, your snow, and your polar bear filled in, all we're gonna do is take a quick break to let this dry. So as always, you can take a 15 minute break and let it dry completely, or if you don't feel like waiting, you can grab a blow dryer and just blow dry it on the cool setting until it's completely dry, and then we'll start back on the next step together in a few. Three days later. Now that our paintings are completely dry, we're gonna go back and add another layer of white onto the polar bear. Because remember, if you did the blue outline, you might have pulled some of the blue into it. And we wanna make sure the polar bear stands out from the snow. So I'm gonna go in with my bigger brush and I am going to use just white to get my bear filled in. Now, I am going to be making this a Christmas polar bear. So I'm gonna be adding on a Santa hat. The Santa hat is gonna end up covering one of the ears. So I'm not gonna worry about filling in this ear here. I'm just gonna fill in that top ear. And then I'm gonna get everything else filled in with another layer of white. Two 
So now that I have my polar bear a little bit wider, I am going to add on my Santa hat while I give that a second to dry. So while I'm still working with my white, I am going to add in the um, rim of the Santa hat, the, the furry white part. And what I'm going to do is right next to this ear here, I am going to make just a quick line. And from there, I'm going to pull that over. It's going to cover that ear and I'm going to pull it back over. So it's almost like I'm making a little rectangle on my polar bear's head. And remember, it covers up that ear. So I am going to fill that in. And just so that I have the shape of it and I don't lose it because it's all white, I'm going to take a little bit of black, just a very small amount. You don't need a whole lot. I'm going to take a little bit of black and add it on my rectangle so that you can see the shape of it. So the fur will be a little more gray. Not super gray, but just a little hint of gray so that you can see the difference between the hat and the polar bear. And now I am going to switch to my medium round brush. I'm going to go back to that brush to get the top of my hat filled in. So we want to add on, of course, the red Santa hat. So I am simply just going to curve over. So I'm starting with red and I'm starting right on top of the rim here. I'm going to curve over and let it go off to the side. And then I'm going to curve back right there. Now I want to get all of that completely filled in. And I am going to pick up the smallest amount of white on my brush just so that my red um, is a little bit more opaque and not so transparent because we do need to cover that blue background. Now, if you want your Santa hat to be a different color, remember you can do the color of your choice. It's completely up to you. Now, once you have it completely filled in, you just want to make sure to wash your brush off because, of course, we have to add the little white ball on the end or the top of the Santa hat. So I'm washing my brush off and I'm still using the medium round one. And right at the top here, I am going to add my little white ball. If you pick up some of the red, that's completely fine. If it's picking up a lot of it, then wash your brush off and get some more white, or you can always give it a second to dry, but you just wanna make sure that you add your little fur ball on top of your Santa hat. Now, once you've done that, it's time to go back into the polar bear. So now we wanna add some details and kind of divide him up a bit so that you can really see your polar bear. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to switch to this really small, tiny brush, and I am gonna be using some black paint and I, right inside of my ear, I want to make a small oval or circle right inside of there and fill it in. And then I'm going to go into his face. For remember, his head is tilted, so I'm tilting his facial features as well. If you didn't tilt the face, then don't worry about this part. But for the nose, I'm going to pull a line across. And then I am going to curve like that so it's not exactly a u it's more like a really wide v and i'm going to fill that in and as you're doing this part if you feel like yours is still a little bit wet you can give it a second to dry now for the mouth i am simply just going to come from the nose and curve over one way and over the other way And of course, we have to give him some eyes. His eyes are really simple. I'm just going to add two little dots. Now, before I go into the body, I want to make sure that I have the shape of the head. So I am going to outline the ear. And then I'm going to also outline the head. And your outline doesn't have to be perfect. If you lose paint in a couple of places, that's completely fine. 
Now, now that we have that, I'm gonna come to the outside first. So you see how we had this little piece of his leg showing here? I'm gonna outline that. Now, underneath that little piece of his leg, we had his foot, and it was a complete circle or oval. So I am going to outline that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. That little piece of leg that is showing right there. And then I'm gonna do that foot or that paw that's all the way out. Now that we have that, we can go back in and pull out the two legs that are just, that he's more so kind of standing on. So I'm gonna come back from the top and I am just going to pull this line right down into the paw. So you see how it kind of runs into the paw there? Same thing over here. I'm gonna pull this line down right into the paw. Now for the middle here, we had his little, so we did these little circles at the bottom here. I'm not gonna make them full circles this time. What I'm actually gonna do is underline the bottom of them or outline the bottom of them. So I'm not gonna make it a full circle, just outline it there. Same thing here, just outline. Now I'm gonna divide them by just pulling a line right up the middle. I'm not gonna go all the way up. I'm gonna stop there. And then I'm gonna pull a line off to the side there. And another one off to the side. Now I wanna give him, of course, some little paws. So I'm gonna come up a bit in this one and I'm gonna pull a little line over and a little line over there. And then these paws are down, so I'm just gonna add little nails. So I'm gonna do about four or five little lines for nails. You can do as many or as few little lines as you want. Now for these paws, they're actually out and showing. So I'm gonna do a circle inside of there. And you see how it, did, it doesn't go all the way up. I left some space there. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And it doesn't have to be a perfect circle or oval. You just wanna make sure it doesn't go all the way to the top of the paw. Because above the paw, we're gonna add four little paw prints, little toes. So I'm just making four little circles. So not lines like this one. I do want them to be more like little circles. Same thing over here. Now that you have the bear all filled in, we're gonna go back and outline the hat to really make that stand out and pop. And then once you are finished, if there's any extra details you would like to add, remember you can add anything you like. If you wanna add words, if you want the, your name or a name across the Santa hat, it's completely up to you. But the last thing you wanna make sure to do is simply sign your painting. So I'm just gonna sign my initials right in the corner. And then you are all finished and you now have your very own Christmas polar bear. Thank you all so, so much for painting with me today. I hope you have enjoyed day one of five days of Christmas. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications. And I will see you in the next tutorial.